Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. It's Brennan with Campbell Fitness and today's video is going to talk about casein protein and if it's really beneficial or not. And the reason I want to talk about this is because oftentimes in conversation, casein is brought up as a very important supplement, especially to take before bed. So in today's video, we're going to talk just about that. So first things first, let's talk about casein protein. Obviously, as the name implies, it is a form of protein. However, there are many other forms of protein out there as well, from eggs to soy to poultry to beef, along with a few others, all different kinds of proteins, all of which are judged on what's known as a BV scale or biological value scale. And while this scale is implemented, it assigns a number to each form of protein, letting us know the quality of it. So the higher quality proteins have a higher BV value. At the top of this list, you're going to find whey protein isolate that has a BV value of well over 100. Casein falls in this list at around 77. So technically, it is a lower quality protein. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not something that you can consume in your diet. It's perfectly fine. The big issue I have with this product is the fact that most supplement companies market it as necessary to take before bed. And the reason they say this is because what you need is a slow digesting protein that's going to be time released in order to consistently feed your muscles throughout your sleep because you're going in typical times eight hours without having any nutrition. In reality, if you know anything about how the body works, you know this is completely false. What's also funny oftentimes is these same people who push casein protein before bed are also ones who don't want to eat carbs before bed because they think eating is going to make you fat, but for some strange reason, they believe that casein protein is fine. So you can't really pick and choose your battles here. Now it is true that casein protein is a slow digesting protein, but the reason behind it might actually be somewhat interesting to you. And that's because the fact of when you start to eat it and digest it, it actually turns into almost like a glue or a paste in your stomach and it becomes very difficult for your body to break down. This is why casein is often used for a lot of glues and plastics because of its ability to form this kind of mold or gloop, if you will. Another thing to take into consideration is the fact that your body is going to go through both anabolic and catabolic phases no matter what your nutrition is. The key here is to make sure that your anabolic processes outweigh your catabolic ones so at the end of the day you're technically building muscle. Now again relating this back to casein protein is the fact that I really don't like that it's simply just a marketing ploy to get you to buy this powdered supplement. In most cases most of us already supplement in whey for our diet. Now with that whey is a much higher BV value than casein. And again, any protein powder supplement, its main goal is to just help make sure that you get enough protein throughout the day. So, if you've already reached your protein intake for the day, that eliminates the need for any protein right before bed. Oftentimes, casein is either the same price or even in some cases more expensive than whey protein. Again, because the market behind it pushes it as necessary, when in reality, the only thing that's really going to do for you is lighten your wallet. So, hope that answers some questions about casein. If you have any more, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. But as always, stay big.